I'm Cecil Starr. I'm a professional utility forester working for Hydro One in Ontario, Canada. Uh, today we're in my back pasture uh, near Lake Dalrymple on my farm and we're going to test out some consumer, uh, consumer level chainsaws for uh, Power Tool Advisor. We're going to do a little bit of a review on the buying experience as well as uh, do some cutting with them and uh, just see how they work out. Uh, we've got a, a pooling, a still, a Husqvarna and an Echo, all relatively around 30 to 35 cc's. Uh, good little homeowner saws, there's uh, nothing wrong with them and they, we're going to see how they work out. And, uh, I've been running chainsaws for 18, 19 years now and uh, on a daily basis so I should uh, hopefully be able to give them a fair little test. Uh -huh. Right, the next saw we're going to test, the last saw, is the uh, Echo 3S, or, sorry, CS310. And uh, what is this, 30.5 cc's with a 14 inch bar. It's uh, 2 inches shorter than the other saws, which for all intents and purposes for what we're doing today shouldn't really matter that much. Second pull, same as the others. system works fairly well. Uh, when you let off the, the throttle it'll idle which is good. Some saws were having problems with that but again it sounds fairly rich which is a jet setup but this is the way it came out of the box from uh, Home Depot and uh, that's how we're testing them is as they go into my hands as a consumer which is uh, a good test I think. Not too bad though other than uh, you know could, you could use a bit more tuning, but uh, vibration's good, brake seems to work good, like I said, it's a bit heavy. Uh, started well, and it idled, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. Alright, we're going to do a summary here on these four saws we've been testing for uh, Power Tool Advisor. Now, the last one we have is the Echo CS310. Uh, again, this came from Home Depot while I went up, got the box off the shelf, threw in the cart. On the way back out, I asked the uh, one of the representatives, uh, is everything in this box that I need for this saw? And she said, yeah, the oil's in there, the chain's in there, and the manual and everything, which uh, which was good. She obviously wasn't a chainsaw person, but she knew that that stuff was in there, which which was good. Um, it didn't seem to cut too bad. Again, it's a it's a 30cc saw. Uh, it's not, didn't cut as good as that one, but again, it's out of the box, could use some tweaking. Uh, I don't mind the switch. Uh, primer bulb and choker on this side, it's, a little bit different setup. The only thing is that the chain brake was fairly, fairly stiff to operate. Now maybe that'll break in a bit, but I don't think so. And uh, again, it needs some jet work after purchase to make it to really see what this saw will do. It's got to be set up right, which you buy it from a box you can't do that. So that's a wrap up for this. I'm Cecil Starr. I'm a utility professional utility forester for Hydro One. I also compete in lumber jack sports all over the North and beyond if I can. Thanks for uh, getting me to do this. Uh, I think that uh, PowerToolAdvisor.com is a good tool for consumers to look at. We compared four small chainsaws here today, which are right in the market for a consumer, and uh, hopefully that'll really come useful for some people. They can check stuff out before they uh, before they go and buy one, and either be real happy or real disappointed. But either way, at least you've got a bit of bit of knowledge to go with. So, thanks for having me.